What's up everybody, this is Jeff from the Overwatch team. This is a really exciting developer update because it's time to introduce you to Hero 30. And Hero 30 is Batiste. We needed another support character in Overwatch. We felt like there was room for a lot more choice and exploration in the support category. So we've made a really awesome hero for you. But first I wanna get you caught up a little bit on what Batiste's backstory is. So Batiste was actually orphaned during the Omnic crisis uh, many years ago. There were 30 million orphans, as a matter of fact, and he was one of them, and it was very devastating. He's from Haiti, and so as he grew older, he joined what was called the Caribbean Coalition, and he became a masterful combat medic. He fought as part of a special forces group, and he was the medic of that group. Um, really great training, really learned how to become a good soldier and a good teammate during that time. Now, as the Omnic crisis folded, Batiste was looking for work, and through sort of circumstances out of his control, he ends up in Talon. And at the time, he didn't necessarily know Talon was the bad group that we all know that it is today. So he reluctantly joins this group. He's fighting with Talon, and as he's part of the group, he realizes these are really bad people, they're doing bad things, uh, it's really tugging at his uh, moral compass and he doesn't feel necessarily comfortable with what Talon's doing. So eventually he makes the big decision to split from Talon and go and fight for a greater good, which is awesome. So we hope you enjoyed his origin story. We put it out last night and it's available. Uh, you'll be able to find it through a link and you can learn more about Batiste and his story, but now let's get into his gameplay and why I think you guys will all have so much fun playing Batiste. So first of all, he's got a really fun weapon. It's called the Medic SMG. It's a mid-range submachine gun that shoots a three-round burst, uh, so it's a lot of fun. It's very tactical. It really fits his character. But the most exciting part is that the alternate fire of the Medic SMG is a biotic launcher, which launches a healing grenade. And the way this grenade works is it does splash healing uh, in a radius. So if your team is grouped up um, or if somebody's below you and you shoot this grenade or if you shoot it towards their feet or towards the ground and it does a splash, it will uh, heal everybody in that radius. Uh, so it's really fun. It's a really effective way. We believe Batiste will end up being a primary healer um, in our play test. That's how he's played out so far. Now, he has some really exciting abilities in addition to that Medic SMG. The first one is called Regenerative Burst. This is a primary ability he has that it's a point-blank heal over time, meaning when, he, when you press the button as Batiste, it affects all the teammates around you as well as Batiste himself, and it applies a heal over time that will gradually heal everybody. So this is really useful, especially when Batiste himself gets low, as he cannot heal himself with his own biotic grenades, and that's something to really keep in mind. Now, his secondary ability is probably the most exciting one that he has, and it's called the Immortality Field. And basically what he does is he launches a device a very high-tech device. It sticks into the ground and it creates a big cylinder that's very visible to Batiste and all of his teammates as well as to the enemy team. Now this device, the immortality field, makes it so that everybody on Batiste's team cannot go beneath a certain percentage of health. And it's a very low health percentage. So they can all get very damaged, but when they hit a certain point, you'll even see in the UI of the health bars, they're immune to damage at that point. Now the enemy team can kill the immortality field if they target the device in the center that's generating it. So there's some counterplay there. You might want your Reinhardt to stand in front of the device, put his shield up and protect. The device is very exciting for moments like when Junkrat's rip tire is coming. If Batiste throws the device down at the proper time, it will actually prevent anybody in that radius from dying from it. So it's an exciting ability with lots of counterplay to it, um, and we think it will create a lot of really cool moments in Overwatch. Now, you're probably wondering what his ultimate ability is, but before I get to that, he has one more 
uh, ability we think is cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna build an anticipation on the alt for a second. The last thing he has are what we call the exo boots. So if you'll look at Batiste's legs, the art of his legs, he's got these really cool uh, exoskeleton legs. And what he can do is when he crouches, he builds a jump meter. And while crouching, if you press your jump key um, or jump button, you jump very high into the air. And it sort of depends how much of that jump meter you've built. You can jump a little ways or um, very high up. We did this for two reasons. One, as a support player, you need some way to disengage enemies. So it's a good way for you to get away and sort of disengage um, if need be. Uh, secondly, because the, the medic SMG, when he's launching his heal grenades, uh, does splash damage, we felt like it'd be very useful for him to be able to get height around the map. Um, and do that splash damage down below. It's much easier to do a lot of healing if you're up above your target than if you're down below. So uh, he can use his exo boots to uh, get height. We think it will give some fun mobility to the character. Now, as I tease, the ultimate ability. So um, this one is sort of um, uh, very precision-based in that uh, Batiste lays out what we call the amplification matrix. Now, he gets sort of a targeting uh, interface that reminds me a lot of placing maze wall. Like, you can see it before you've placed the amplification matrix and uh, know where you're going to line it up. And what you want to do is try to line it up so that the most amount of your teammates can shoot through this amplification matrix towards the most amount of enemies. And all of the damage that your team does is boosted significantly as they shoot through the matrix. Um, so you can do some really devastating damage to the enemy team. Now where it gets really exciting is if you have an Orisa on your team and a Mercy on your team and maybe even an Ana who's doing a nano boost on your team, um, all of that damage sort of stacks and you can do some really crazy moments if you can line it up correctly. Um, so it can be really devastating. So we find that as we've been playing in our play tests, when, when we know that there's somebody playing Batiste on our team, we all get really excited because not only do we have this great healer who's keeping us all alive, there's a really exciting moment if he places the ult in a smart place. Um, it can really set up the enemy team to go down and for our team to really like take an objective or, or push a team fight. So it's been really exciting. Um, Never mind all the stuff I have to say about Batiste. What we are excited about here on the Overwatch team is all of the amazing things you you all are going to do with this character. We've heard your pleas for more uh, support characters. We know you want more variety in what your support characters are doing. We think there will be a lot of appeal to Batiste, both based on his backstory, in addition to all the cool and unique things that he does. He's got a great gun that's fun to shoot also. So as a support player, if you wanna do some damage, he should be really attractive to you. Uh, we can't wait to see what you do on the PTR. The PTR is up now with Batiste available. So if you have a PC, please let us know what you think. And he'll be coming very soon to PC and console um, and to Overwatch for all of us to enjoy. Thank you and have fun with Batiste.